My name is Thomas Kearns, and you're all very welcome uh, to this afternoon's masterclass, which is building on and in anticipation of our conference, which opens officially this evening and tomorrow. It's my great privilege and honor to invite the Dean of the Faculty, Mary Jacob, to formally welcome and open this masterclass. Thanks. Thanks very much, Thomas. Past Dean, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, hello, good afternoon and welcome. It gives me great pleasure in welcoming you this afternoon to the Education Masterclass involving the Institute of Leadership. The title of the Masterclass is Leadership, Transforming Professional Values into Practice. Over 150 participants have registered for this afternoon's event. We have very many eminent and renowned speakers today including Ms. Abigail Masterson from the Florence Nightingale Foundation, Dr. Philip Crowley, Quality Improvement Division, Health Service Executive, Dr. Stevens Hospital, Professor Mary Carney, Dean Emeritus, Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery, Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Ms. Janita Gaidera, Quality Improvement Division, Health Service Executive, Dr. Mark White, Office of the Director General of the Health Service Executive, and Ms. Georgina Bassett, National Leadership and Innovation Centre for Nursing and Midwifery, Clinical Strategy and Programmes Division, Health Service Executive. The panel discussion will be chaired by Professor Thomas Kearns, Executive Director, Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery, Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and the closing address will be delivered by Professor Kieran O'Boyle, Director, Institute of Leadership, Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. I would like to thank the organising team, Ms Catherine Clune Mulvaney and Ms Lorraine Hart for their excellence in organising today's event. We will break for refreshments at around 14.35 hours, which will give us an opportunity to network with colleagues. I would like to remind you to turn off all mobile phones, please. I wish you a very enjoyable masterclass, and thank you all for coming to this afternoon's event. Please give a warm welcome to the first speaker, Ms Abigail Masterson, Deputy Executive Director of the Florence Nightingale Foundation, London. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for inviting me and thank you so much for that lovely warm welcome. Well, you might be thinking, well, what on earth has she got to tell us about leadership? And hang on a moment, don't I hear, you know, an English voice with maybe a bit of Scottish overtones there? You know, why have we got to bring other people in to tell us about this? Well, I'm delighted to talk to you about tomorrow's leaders today because we've had the pleasure and the privilege to be working in partnership with the Health Service Executive and the National Leadership and Innovation Centre in delivering a programme for CNM2s, nurses and midwives. I never get that quite right, all those Ns and Ms together. And the Florence Nightingale Foundation itself delivers leadership programmes in the UK and sends leadership scholars across the globe to develop nursing internationally. So it's from that perspective I talk to you today. So how can we predict what tomorrow might want from today? I think actually we've got some quite good insights, which is what I want to share with you now. So we know, if we're honest, that actually some of what we do today, wherever we work in the health system, might sometimes be harmful, <coughs> may be inefficient, and quite possibly may be ineffective. We do have amazing amounts of technology now and help to do things differently. And both in the UK and in Ireland, there is strong political will to do things differently. However, actually moving from the situation that we are in now to this wonderful future that we're all aiming for is actually quite difficult. And one of the things we find most difficult is disinvesting. So even if we're not absolutely convinced we're doing tremendous amounts of good with what we're doing, it still feels very risky to say, actually, we're going to stop doing that altogether. And the resilience of our healthcare systems to change is actually beginning to get on the nerves of the public and politicians. 
And we know that just telling people to do things differently doesn't actually work. So in terms of preparing tomorrow's leaders, we need to let them work with how to change practice as well as knowing what to change. So we're sitting in a very esteemed august institution here, which will have a most wonderful library, I'm sure, and all sorts of um, on